a real bad storm came through last night y'all so i'm coming out here to assess if there was any type of damage and it was just it was bad out here y'all so yeah so stay tuned so we can get a look at what's going on out here Welcome back to LNL Honeycomb Homestead. So I'm just gonna take you around and show you what this storm has done because I was out here with Mickey, but um, I didn't go any further. So let's go ahead and assess this problem. We see here the water was filled back up. Thank you, Lord. I had used a lot of that water. And so it's backfilled again, and I'm very happy about that. So let's see what else we're going to assess. So I can see it was a lot of rain and wind. Dirt that I hit back up on this um, wall here and everything. Um, yeah. So far that's okay. Um, this is okay, but we'll, we'll find out. It was a lot of rain, a lot of wind that happened out here. So we're just going to assess the problem. The peas were be able, where they were able to make it. I see that. So that looks good. Um, the other beds, everything's. All right, is that a hole? Let's see. Yeah, one of them robins came and got one of them worms, so. Gotta keep watch of that. The birds are out doing their thing. And um, so, everything is straight. Let's see what those girls are talking about over there. Hello, ladies. What's wrong? What's wrong, Shiloh? Huh? Where your sisters at? They were making their little noise this morning. Guess they're laying some eggs. As you can see, how that tarp just blew up. These winds were really high. Really high out here. But we're gonna continue on looking. As you can see, the chickens have made their debut through this side of the fence where it was really high before we had let them loose. Y'all remember that? Well, they done cleaned it out over here. So, yeah. That, they doing a good job. They doing a good job. Girls are doing pretty good back here. As you can see. So... Yeah, that's something else. <laughs> I guess they're enjoying it back here. She done worked her way over here because I came over here, so. Yeah, everything is going pretty good so far. Let's look behind me. They have cleaned, <laughs> they have done some cleaning, y'all. Look at that, y'all. It looks beautiful. They're doing a wonderful job over here. They really are. Automatic lawnmowers and weed eaters. So, yep, we'll keep up and keep you updated on what they're doing. So far, so good. So for those who have been following this, 
um, for the past year. You see, I have a blackberry bush. Um, this was given to me. I have two of them, and she's rebunctious as well, too. And her name is Barry, and the other one name is Rasp. So um, I'm trying to get them trained on this cucumber trellis that I made when I had my cucumbers last year. And it um, seems like they just want to keep coming over here to the driveway. So we'll figure something out. But she's ready to start getting her, her blackberries on as well, too. <laughs> and they sure were good made some jelly and stuff out of her from last year it's really good blackberry jam you keep doing you keep on girls there they are yep so now that i'm back up here in front what i'm thinking about doing is taking this and filling it up and get my strawberries up and put them in um this bucket and that bucket so I can have me some strawberries. Um, you can tell they're doing pretty well. I've already dug up my um, sage herb, so um, now I'm trying to get my strawberries and I'm gonna have them put up so that way I can have them. And I also gotta get my um, cantaloupe, uh, getting those seeds in so that way I can have me some nice cantaloupe this year. So as we were doing our cleanup in the back, I thought I'd bring my Aunt Peggy out here. My Aunt Peggy has passed, y'all, and I just, I had a pear tree that I had put down in the ground um, right after she had passed, and I named her Aunt Peggy. So I brought her up here to the front so she can get um, some more sunshine, and I came out here and seen this, y'all. Look. Just beautiful. And there's a lot more notes. So I have her in a pot because I didn't want to put her in the ground due to us going out to the homestead. And this will be one of the fruit trees that we're going to put out there on the property. And so I'm going to have me a little orchard and then she'll be the first one out there. So this is my pear tree, y'all. And, um, if there's any ideas so far she's doing pretty good i'm making sure she's getting the nutrients that she needs and i see that she's got her beautiful first bloom and i'm just so excited hi i'm peggy you look beautiful today yes you do miss you and i love you well, as you know that storm hit and it was windy I, hey i had to bring my babies over here under the patio y'all because it was just really bad and I did not need them to fall over on this table. So what I'm going to do, since now that it has blown and passed us, it's not coming back anytime soon. The temperatures have dropped out here. As you know, it is now 61 when it was 80 yesterday. 80 degrees and now it's 61 due to this storm They come blowing up through here. So I'm gonna get these jugs and we're gonna put them back on the table.
Better safe than sorry, right? Yep. Need to do some more pantalanting. But I'm glad they're safe and then it's back in its place. Yeah. Last but not least, my baby is doing pretty good over here. He's not chasing the sun, but he's show sure laying out, getting his little stretch on. He's been watching me all morning. I've been talking to him, playing with him, and stuff like that. And um, so, Mickey's doing pretty good too. Ain't that right, boy? <laughs> yep because we had these storms don't stop no show of growing y'all so you gotta assess the problem come out here and see what's going on so that way you can keep watch after everything is done now you can sit back and do your little seeds and sit back and watch and see what mother nature is doing and continue on doing what you need to do and let's get that food out there <laughs> so Got strawberries to do, some more seeds to put out here on this table. And yeah, the girls are doing good. Mickey's doing fine. And it's cool out here, but not too cold. It's enough for me. It's doing wonderful. And I'm just grateful. And thank you subscribers for coming in and just following us along this journey. And I want to thank the new ones that came in and showed some love as well too. And y'all, look. Y'all are official honeybees. So don't forget to keep flying on through and checking us out, all right? <laughs> and keep on pollinating, because we all need to grow out here in this world, because something is really happening out here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, mm-hmm, on that note right there. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment down below, any questions or anything like that. And y'all, have yourself a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.